Hey, Refuel fam, Wesley here from Bayside Davis, and it is the Christmas season. You know, growing up in a broken home, I always felt like Christmas was a time of hope. Even though I grew up in a non-Christian family, somehow in this season, out of the entire scope of the year that I had lived with the brokenness of my family of origin and the things that we were experiencing, there seemed to be like this birth of hope around the Christmas season. And I think one of the most important words in any language is hope. And sometimes we're living in a really hard moment. Sometimes we're feeling the stressors or the pressures, the disconnections or the relational fracturing of life. And we enter into a season like Christmas. And it's so important to pause and say to ourselves, there is hope. I want you just to not only think about that line, but speak that into your life in the midst of anything and everything that you're going through in this holiday season. I want you to realize for you, there is hope. I was reading last week, Psalm 42, and the psalmist was dealing with a really hard season of life. In fact, Psalm 42 is probably one of the most vivid descriptions of suffering under the pain of depression in all of the Bible. In Psalm chapter 42, verse three and verse four, uh, verse five, pardon me, the psalmist says, my tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. The psalmist literally is experiencing depression. He talks about losing his appetite. He talks about crying day and night in distress. He describes depression, talking about his downcast and disturbed soul all of which in the Hebrew language talk, uh, uh, speaks or pictures grief and depression. And yet, in all of the articulation of his suffering and his pain, he keeps saying to himself three times, hope in God. This wasn't verbal communication. This wasn't communication in community. This was internal communication in his soul. He was literally speaking hope in the midst of suffering to himself. And I thought today, whatever you're going through, whatever pain, loss, whatever reminders of hardship and suffering, whatever difficult experience that you've had in this last year, I want you to know that there is hope for you. And I wanted to encourage you, just like the psalmist, when he had an internal dialogue articulating his depression, I also want to encourage you to speak hope into your soul. Christmas is a season of hope. It's literally the moment in human history where hope became flesh and blood, where hope came to this earth in physical form. Jesus Christ, the savior of the world. And in the midst of darkness, in the midst of so much difficulty and pain, a light was born that would shine throughout human history and change people's lives through his death and resurrection. There is hope for every single one of us. And this is such an important word to remind ourselves in the Christmas season. I pray that you believe this for yourself and I pray that in the midst of whatever you're going through internally, that you continue to speak hope into your soul. Much love to you. I hope you have an amazing Christmas season and there is hope for you.